your voice let me hear you
Why don't you clap and give God some praise? If your voice is not borrowed, I don't think I'm on this up. Now, for the day, I'm going to go to the house. God is good. I said, God is good. All the time. God is good. And son, I'll bet to us. I'll be cool being changed. I'll catch it. I am kept by the power. Of God, catch it. Kept by the power of God. Look for two hundred people. Tell them. Say, Let's go. Come I am kept by the power of God. Come on, say, I am kept. kept by the power of God, come on, I am kept, kept by the power of God, kept, 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 Some people, this morning when I was coming, I saw somebody. Wako Jim. Wako Jim. And then Fifre Atten. And now, on Antiaco. But so be a Muslim Wako Jim. And not in a face towel at Tonoko. And you cry drinking water. T. Vice President Emisata. No, what Jim? Jim. And not Tishi in Uwi. So Jim doesn't save people. I am kept by the power. Can I hear 20 people lift your voice and say I am kept? I'm kept by the power. Come on, save my grace. Come on. Day by day, 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 Say 
clap your hands and give the Lord a shout. You can take your seat. You are welcome. It's good to see you. Amen. It's good to see you in church. You are looking very nice. Hallelujah. You know, one day Joseph said something to the brothers. That's right. You are doing well. I keep saying this. Uh, who can you put 5,000? And uh, Jesus said, Peja Brudu 5. Fish 2. No, he said, Fish 2, ne Brudu 5. The crowd. I said, Sit down. O better than I can now, better than you. He said, Brudu, ne, no, actually, why? And then he be. Now, last, Amen. Amen. He said, Yeah. Hallelujah. But you have two years being sung for the year. You hear, I put a speaker on, but he very carefully said, Nyame is strange. Nanemia Mayasu is very, very strange. Hallelujah. I said here that day, maybe because it was in the heat of a preaching, so you didn't write it. You see, you can't understand God. And God also doesn't want you to understand him. The moment you understand God, he will, he will cease to be God. Or say, Senia East is far away from West. Now, Quine is far. The only thing you can do about God is to believe him. I don't understand you, but I believe you. And this morning is one of the great ways of God that has brought you to into church. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? And so we'll take our theme song and I want you to sing like that is your last breath inside you. And then after that I'm going to put the speaker on. Some people are waiting online to know whether it's true or not. You better join us if you are not far away. And you better come because today, Friday, Sunday, what can come? Can come. Hallelujah. So I would like us to go with our theme song. Are you coming? In the storms of life, when the clouds unfold. Their ways of trust. When the strong thighs drift and the cables come on. When your uncorded so far remain. When your uncorded in the storm so Come on, when the clouds unfold, the awaits of strife. When the strong tides lift and the cables strain, come on, when your anchor drifts over, lift your hands and say, We have an anchor. We have an anchor. So sad for session while the billows move fast into the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's prayer. We have an anchor. We have an anchor. That keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fast into the rock which cannot come on grounded firm. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Hallelujah. You can take your seat. Few years ago, there was a church 
It's now about to get 100 years in Ghana. It's not yet 100 years. But this church started, the church's name was called Assemblies of God. And they are doing extremely well. They were winning a lot of people. And they trained a lot of people. One of the great men that was trained is our speaker for this morning. Hallelujah. Almost to about three decades now, over 20 something years, he needed to relocate from Ghana and to settle in the US of A. And Joseph told his brothers that God sent me ahead of you. <laughs> you see, God sent me ahead of you to prepare. You see, when I told you last Sunday, he said, don't be jealous when people are doing well. Because maybe God sends the person ahead of you. Help the one clapping to do a better clapping. They were in a different state. I mean, there was, if you look at the geographical location, there is no way our path will cross. My wife said we should go to the U.S. And then we should go and rest because she thinks I don't rest when I'm in Ghana. So, one day he said we should travel. And he came up with a ticket fee. I combed my mind. I couldn't raise the money. So I told myself, I came to the office and I told myself, when I get home, I will tell her, the Holy Spirit says, traveling this year, then financial next time. When I got home, she was smiling. And I made my face very, very serious because I brought a word from the Spirit of God. Before I could say what I had to say by the Spirit, she said, somebody walked to her in the office and heard she wants to go to the U.S. And then, has she got her ticket? She says, no. Then he says, I'm buying you a ticket. Follow me to a place. And told her how many days you want to spend in the U.S. And give her two tickets free of charge. Immediately she gave me the ticket, the Holy Spirit left me. <laughs> left me. Master Mammy did free off his bite in a cabby trim. <laughs> so we traveled for 10 days. And honestly, I was just going to see US and come back. But the one we were staying with said, oh, he has heard my name, Fire for Fire, so he has organized a prayer meeting for me somewhere. So I went for the prayer meeting, and that was the only preaching appointment I had, and we were visiting for only 10 days, and we're coming back. So all the people I met said, ah, your mom brought you 10 days in Zion. Then small, I said, no, I'll go back. So on the first day, the first preacher, but I preached hard, and my wife came for my iPad. And took it and said, enough is enough, castle. Yeah. <laughs> so when we were leaving the place we were, we were going to New York for free. My wife is a, is a shop addict. She likes going to shop. Just window shopping, she likes it. And two did you two find out them our heart. So you must be roomy. Yeah. Then he's seen things. That is a woman in the So we're coming to New York to shop. Then my host told a friend in New York, said, there is a certain guy from Ghana. You need to meet him. Then the friend said, oh, yes, you are fasting on a last day. In the, so you are a prayer person, there are Umrah last day, you are 24-hour prayer. Umrah two hours in my hand, I say, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that was my second preaching in 10 days. That one too. I find when, when I close and we're going, I'm saying this for a reason. 
When I close and we're going, then my wife said, Oh, this girl is my classmate in a brie girls. A certain girl in that church was her classmate. So their friendship clicked from there because they were classmates in a brie girls. So one thing led to another. Then she became a very close friend. She was always calling my wife when we came back. Then she bought us our microphones. Then one day, after she bought the microphone, she was going, I said, a year by this time, you will marry me. I said, pastor, pastor. So, pastor, I don't even have anybody. Okay, a year by this time, yeah. Say, And I'm saying, God will do it. So she left. Then, the one God had sent ahead started doing something ahead. <laughs> then, this person's God have sent ahead, some way, somehow, became the whole women director for the whole Assemblies of God women in the U.S. So she organized a women cup meeting and saw this every girl going up and down. Then she called the pastor's wife and said, this is your girl. Is she married? He said, no. Then he said, I have a brother in my church. I think I can connect them. <laughs> Somebody said, God sent ahead. <laughs> so they connected the wedding was in October everything was coming on everything about the wedding yeah, engagement dress everything about the wedding whatever they were wearing my wife sold all of them from here, we traveled with sex bags from here to America for that wedding In one of our visits to the U.S., we went to a place called Delphi. We met a family. Some way, somehow, the family decided to leave Delphi and go and live in North Carolina. Then they called me and said, when I come to the U.S., I should come and ordain him as a pastor in that church in North Carolina. Then I asked this guy who was coming to marry the Brick Girls girl that, where do you stay? Then he said, I stay in North Carolina. I said, hey, somebody say, go ahead. Can you hear me? We be busy with our name. You don't know what God is doing. Even this morning, the person you are sitting by, you have no idea the connection God is about to connect you. Besides, say, me dollars ne wo wo hana. Besides, say, me certificate ne wo wo hana. But your best sign is signing them, cross signing them. Hallelujah. All the way from North Carolina. If I want to tell you how today they are in charge of the uh, white assemblies of God, you know, we have two types of assemblies of God in America we have the African one and we have the European one, Abruzzi 4. And they are in charge, not just church pastors. They are in charge of a white church today. If I tell you the process, it may be another time we can't finish. But all the way from North Carolina, Reverend Anthony and the wife, Crystal, put your hands together, receive their ministry this particular time. Which all of them are pastors, so all of them are preaching. All right. God, keep clapping your hands, please. Keep clapping your hands for them. Do it well. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I begin speaking, I'll give my husband, Reverend Anthony Krenzel, a minute to say a word or two before we proceed. Hallelujah. So, Pastor Krenzel, come and give a word or two. Amen.
praise the Lord. Indeed, fire for fire is true and alive in this uh, place. I'm so delighted to be here with my wife. And as Pastor said, yes, we pastor a church in North Carolina. And today, by the grace of God and by divine connection, the Lord has tapped us and my wife here to be a blessing to this congregation. And uh, it's so wonderful when Pastor Michael came to the U.S., he said that uh, he was coming to North Carolina. I said, wow, and you know, that is exactly where we live. And we were so blessed that himself and his wife were able to visit with us. And so today we are so pleased to be in your bed. And uh, my wife will be a blessing to you all. God bless you. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes and let's do some worship. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lift up your voices and give him praise. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is a miracle God. Our God is a healing God. Our God is a chain breaker God. Just lift your voices. Just lift your voices. Give him your praise. Our God is a good God. Our God is a good God. He is the miracle worker. He is the miracle worker. The living God. The resurrection and life. Oh, the grace of God. He is a sufficient God. Our Father. Worship your God, Elia Bosantara Botayantelia. Awesome. Great thou art. You are come, Elia Botaya. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe. Your holy. Come on, somebody worship the greater Yah. Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God, awesome God, how great you are God. Father, glorify yourself. Me as your vessel, I empty myself of self. Fill me and use me to your glory. Take this stage, Lord. Have your way. And when we are done, oh God, please take the glory. Please take the glory. Please take the glory. Take this stage, Lord. Have your way. I 
I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you are there, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. When you are done healing your people, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Shall we please be seated? Hallelujah. I want to thank God Almighty for this opportunity to minister to you this beautiful day that the Lord has made. I'll take a minute to thank Reverend Michael and Sister Mildred for their invite and releasing their pulpit to me to preach the gospel of God. Also for God bless you. I knew we met in a mysterious way, but God brought us this far by faith for a reason. And when I got to know First Lady Mildred, she's the sweetest thing on this earth. Hallelujah. She is very sweet. And I thank God for her. You know, I normally like to lay back and know people before I get close. But when I saw her, I just connected with her. It was just like that. Hallelujah. Because our spirit bears with me. Amen. And I thank God that my husband is here to support me today as the word of God goes forth. Amen. So I know this year your theme for this year is rooted deeply, right? So what are you rooted deeply in? Hallelujah. That should be something you need to be thinking of the whole year. Are you going to be deeply rooted in yourself, in your husband, in your job? in your family, or even in the circumstances that you found yourself in, or you'll be deeply rooted in Christ Jesus, in his word. Hallelujah. That again is your choice. Amen. Praise the Lord. But today I am going to tap into your theme for the year and bring something out of that theme. Once you, are this, you have decided that you remain in God, firm in God, then my question to you, which will be my topic is, then what is eating you up? Hallelujah. What is eating you up? If you are so firmly rooted in Jesus Christ, then what is eating you up? Amen. Let's read our first scripture from the book of Luke chapter 17 from the verse 11. Luke 17. And now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. Ten men with leprosy, something, was eating them up. And Bible said what? Well, they met him. They stood at a distance and called out in the love where Jesus must have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at the feet, at Jesus' feet, and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, we're not all ten cleansed. Where are the other nine? Has no one retained to give praise to God except this foreigner? So meaning the nine, they were no strangers to the gospel. Hallelujah. Except the what? The foreigner. See, if you know Jesus Christ and you love him as your Lord, and personal savior, and you don't stay true and faithful to him, foreigners will come and take your blessing. Hallelujah. Foreigners will come and occupy your positions. Foreigners will sit on your seat, the seat that has been reserved for you long ago. 
Because you are not faithful and loyal to God, foreigners will take your place. Every one of us has a story. Every one of us here has a beginning. Just because you see somebody's beginning like today doesn't mean they started of where you started. Hallelujah. They started from somewhere. Grace found them and grace moved them and grace took them the place God has prepared for them long ago. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ten lepers. Something was eating them up. And that thing has a name. And the name was called what? Leprosy. That is why I'm asking what is eating you up. Is it your marriage? Is it your job? Is it your finances? Is it your health? We are in something wrong with you. You are not happy. Something is eating you up. You are always depressed. Something is eating you up. You, it feels like you are left behind. Everybody is going. You are the only one left behind. Something is eating you up. Is it your education? You want to pursue a career? You don't have the money to get there? Something is eating you up. Hallelujah. Something is eating you up. Praise God. I want you to listen. And think deeply. Number one thing I want to talk about. Take your problems to who? God. He is the solver of all problems. I tell myself. If God don't fix it. Nobody else will. If God don't take charge. Nobody else will take charge. If God don't fix me. Nobody else will. See the secret lies in the word of God. This word of God was not given to us to read and then move on and scream and shout. It was given to us to meditate upon it day and night because it contains life. Praise the Lord. It contains life. Some of us began at a place of nothing. My mom has six children. Two cousins and other cousins came to live with us. Home was hard. I wanted to go to school as far as I want to go to school. But when I look at my mom's situation, how is she going to help me go to that school? Amen. Then I found that man called Jesus Christ. I found that man called Jesus Christ. And I, when I found him, he was the beautiful person. The sweetest thing that ever happened to me. I turn to my family and I say, all of you will go to church. If you want to be set free, if you want this chance to be broken from your back, let's go to church. Hallelujah. I move my family one after the other to church. All of them are Christians. And then when they all came to Jesus Christ, the door opened. Hallelujah. The door opened. All six of us. Only one is in this country here. Only one. There are two cousins. They are in Germany. Everybody that stayed in our home traveled. So the secret was in the word of God. We didn't know. Mom was just confused. Mom was depressed. Mom was just not a happy woman. She wasn't. We all have stories. Hallelujah. And everybody traveled one by one. And myself and my husband too, we traveled. Amen. And I said, you this woman, I also bring you to America. So I came and took my mom. She's living there as we are speaking right now. Hallelujah. You're crying. God has heard you. Coming here and pray, you think it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's a seed you are sowing. It's going to pay off someday. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody confuse you and say, you are praying, praying, nothing has changed. It only takes God one second to perform a miracle. Hallelujah. It only takes God one second to perform a miracle. Praise God. It doesn't take him days. Amen. Just hang in there. Come and dedicate yourself to the things of God. And love God Almighty with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit. And love your neighbor as yourself. 
Hallelujah. Our God is a great God. He's a life transforming God. He is a miracle working God. He can change your story right now. He can change your situation right now. I am a living testimony of what God is able to do. He has changed us. Praise God. So I have no regret. There is a popular phrase that I have created that I use all the time. And I always say, God is still a good God. I will not stop using that word. I use it for a reason. Because he's still a good God. Because the storms will come. The fires will come raging. The problem will come. But God is still a good God. So he's going to see me through it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you with me this morning? He alone can restore what you have lost. Only God. Only God. Only God. Only God. Myself and my husband, we went to the state. Well, we went to a family member. It wasn't well like that with them. We pray, so God, take us out of this place. We move into an apartment with no bed. We move into an apartment with no chairs. We only have one cooking pot that somebody gave to us. When we are eating, we eat and we sit on the floor like Muslim. We did no regret. No single day. But we purpose in our heart that we will serve this great I am in this foreign land. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God, brother. Many do all kinds of things. We decided to be like the Hebrew boys just to remain faithful to the God of our salvation. And one by one, God began to lift us up, make a way where there seems to be no way. And like Pastor rightly said, in the church we pastor now used to be the white people, they are building. But today we possess that building. Hallelujah. This is what God is able to do. Amen. I am encouraging you. I am encouraging you and lifting you up. I said the prayers you are offering in this sanctuary here is a seed. It's going to grow. Hallelujah. Keep watering it with more prayers. Keep watering it. Be dedicated. Come in and do what God has asked you to do here. It's like if you put a seed on the ground and you don't water it, it will die. And then when it dies, you say, I've been going to this place. I've been praying. Other people are receiving. I don't receive. Check your seed. Check your seed. Are you still putting water on it? Or you have given up and expecting me to come and put water on it. Expecting the sister to put the water on it. She's putting water on hers. You think she's going to stop it and put it on yours? No way. Hallelujah. Our God is great. The Bible says that these ten men, they saw Jesus. And they shout. They stood at a distance and called out a loud voice. When they saw him, they yelled out the name of Jesus. See, when you are going through things, it is okay to scream, say, Hey, son of David, have mercy on me. It is okay. It is okay. Sometimes, whatever is going on, inside of you is what is propelling you to cry it out. If your problem is big, your cry will be big. But if your problem is small, that's when you come to church, you just play and nod your head and swing back and forth. But if it's big, you cry out to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Jesus saw them and said, show yourself to the priest." Number two thing I want to touch on it. God responds to desperate prayers. Hallelujah. I said God responds to what? I can't hear you. G desperate prayers. These men were desperate 
They cried to God and God heard them. Hallelujah. Didn't you know that Jesus already saw them coming? He already did. He was waiting for them. Just like he knows your problem. He knows your pain, your struggles. He knows what you are. He understands your struggles. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to make that deliberate decision to cry out to him for help. Hallelujah. He's waiting. We went to the country. I had, was pregnant with my second born. We went to see the doctor. Ultrasound. They said, we are seeing some problem with this pregnancy. I said, who? The God that I serve won't bring me to this country. I don't care whether it's America or what. He's not bringing me here to disgrace me. Before I realized they were calling doctors here and there, specialists, I became afraid. Fear gripped me. My husband and home, we discussed this is what they are saying. They said there's a problem. And then they want me to abort the child. The specialist was like, I think he was an Indian short man. About six of them surrounding me. If you don't, the child will become a sickler. The child will become this. The child will become that. I said, I'm not aborting this child. I'm not getting rid of this child. So they asked him to bring my husband. We went in. We agree, no, we will pray and seek the face of God. I'm talking about desperate prayers. Hallelujah. I'm talking about desperate prayers. Hallelujah. Sometimes me, I know God knows me. And I know God understands me. And God knows when I'm desperate. Because he hears my voice. There's desperation in the voice. And he comes through for me. Hallelujah. We came home, we prayed, we prayed. My husband consoled me. I said, don't console me. It's not in your stomach. That's why you, you are cool. It's in my stomach. I lay straight in my bathroom and I cried and I cried out to God. I'm not aborting this child. That's the voice that kept coming. We, he's a very, very faithful God. And we had this child. He is normal. Hallelujah. Among our three children, actually, he's the smartest. He's the one pastor when you were came, he was playing the keyboard in the church. A handsome young man. Very quiet among the children. Hallelujah. Very sound minded. He has graduated university. He's working right now. He's healthy. He's alive. Because of Jesus Christ, he understands your desperation. He understands your problem. He understands your pain. Cry out to Jesus and he will speak on your behalf. Hallelujah. I told God this message I don't understand. I will give birth to a normal child and my child will serve you. And my child will honor you. And this boy is the, actually the one who is helping us most in ministry. Hallelujah. The devil wanted us to abort our ministry helper. The devil wanted us to kill our ministry helper. Today we are here. He's there with them helping in the church. Hallelujah. May God arise. May your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Any plot of the enemy against your future, against your prospect, may it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Every chain that is tying you down, may the Lord set you free. Every yoke at your back, may it be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. If I share my testimonies with you, you wonder why I serve God like I'm crazy. Hallelujah. You think the devil left us alone?
it does not matter the matter anymore. Our God is a faithful God. 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 Hallelujah. He will never disgrace us. Hallelujah. Shanda Sukayande. I feel like we should pray. Let's please rise. I feel like we should pray. Shira bo se kandaya, lebro sinde re bo kaya. He understands your situation. Aliya kote zoko andaya. I just don't want you to hold back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Lebro sinde kandoro baya. Lebro suko la bo shende leleta. Release yourself into the hands of God. Release yourself into the hands of God. In the name of Jesus.
Kale Katalaka, Rakatala Gayaka, Ale Katalaya Delepe, Rapaya Kandala Papa, Rakatala Yata, Rakatalaka, Alakaton Delea, Rapalia Tande, Rakatala Bayaka, Rapala Kataya, Ekalagatalake, Ayakata, Rapalo Sadarata, Lakatala Palakasa, Ekalagadea Palata, Rapaya Katala Kala, Rakale Katale, Ayakatala Kanaka, Rakala Kataya, Ekala Katasa, Rapaya Kaya, Elakaya Katabayaka, Rakataya Kata, Rakaya Matakatakataka, Elakataya Kataka. Ayakatoriata, 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 
Aleluya takadia kada rekatolea katataya rekatene kadala katonda arakatene adala dada bossa arakatada dakataya ayam dakatakata rakatada kata we against the heavens arakatada kata ya katene kataya rakatata concerning that which is in us up ya kadosa dakata rakada kadakada rasataya ye katasha rakadosa dakadakada What is it in you? Atagataya, Atalia Gada, Aragata, Aratata, Arapadosha, Atalia Paya, Atalagata, Arapapadaya, Arapapaya, Aratataya, Arapapaya, Arapapaya, Aratataya, Atalia Papa, Arapapa, 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 can you push it a little? <laughs> 
Add clap into your prayer. Add clap into your prayer. Add clap into your prayer. Whatever is it in you are, be desperate about it. Whatever is eating you up, is it getting the job concerning your accommodation? Talk to God about it. What is eating you up? Ah, what is eating you up? Atala Gabaya. Desperate cry. Desperate cry. Desperate cry. Desperate prayer. Ayapaya. Ayapaya. Arapaya. Arapaya. A rapaya, a rata diados, a delia tosa, a delele cataria, a pata tire, a rata da tire, a rata da tire, come on, push somebody, a yam papa, a rapaya, a rapaya, a rapaya. I came to church, a delia tire, a rata da tire. Something is eating me. Something is taking my joy. Something is taking my wholeness. Something is taking my beauty. Something is taking my smile. <laughs> You came to church. Push it a little. Ayaya, Arataya, 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 Ikatalia, 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What is eating you up? My God. He had classmates in the city. But for them, they were put outside because something was eating them up. It was a man that was deep in. But in a position as a son. So something is eating you up. Somebody can pray because I did so. I'm going to give you one minute, 30 seconds. If you feel like sitting on the floor in front here, you feel like lying on the stage whatever you feel like doing something is eating me up if i come to church and i'm praying and i remember it my prayer is paused but lord that case i bring it to you a desperate cry you have one minute 30 seconds one more time push that issue to god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus what is it talk to him about it i don't do what father i talk to him about it i know you are the only one who drives drive them out drive them out talk to him Knowing that you are the only one, oh my God. Talk you, to him. You, 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 you may not have an explanation, but something is eating me up. Something is eating me up. Leando le 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 brosa. Makoda le la lo la basata. Rekalu kaya ndiri di si thaya ndi. Ndera. Rana 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 Talk to him. Be desperate about it. Talk to him. 
You can't keep wasting money on this issue. You can't keep wasting transportation on this matter. You can't keep going on this same matter. What is eating you up? In the name of Jesus. Bibi Shameso. Bibi Shameso. Bibi Shameso. Bibi Shameso. Bibi Shameso. La da 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 ba da ba. La 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 brata la da da. Ya ka ba ya da ba ya ka ba ya ba da. Ya do ra 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 ba sa ta ya de. Ma ko da le ba su ta ya da. Re ka to le ba ka da 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 da. Let me was stronger. Let me was stronger. In this matter, oh my God, let it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rakatori mi aner ba ka ra 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 ra. Rakatori mi aner ba 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 ba. We da ra 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 ra. Oh Lord, let oh my God, your hand be upon me. The mighty, Russia wants us. The mighty, me brand in the ra. May two share one side. Name them O primary boy. Seigneur, me ni moi. Orange ye. Me name them. O primary boy. Seigneur, bénis-moi. Oh, Ah, 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 can't be be cheering you, Mira, my boy. I say, I make a cheering you, and oh, Tina, my boy, I will make you queen. Can't be be cheering you. Ira, mama, pass me not, O gentle Savior. Bull cry, while and others thou art all. Come on, do. Not pass me by, pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Come on, yeah, my heart, oh cry. While on others thou art called, do not pass me by, do. Men pam me hun ko ma jin kwan prefo Tie mi mo Prosu Bra refresh refresh was a fool And I no pay do Ka ka patala kada bada Rakanda Galagaba Shalala Labada Laba Baba 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 A 
if it's possible, lift up your hands above your head. Lift your hands above your head. If it's possible, just lift it. This morning, we come with a desperate cry. Lift your hands like that. I want to ask Reverend Anthony to release a prayer over you and then we'll be out of here. Lift your hands above your head. In the name of Jesus, as you have lifted your hands towards the heavens, your needs your wants, your frustrations, your pain, your setbacks are made bare before the throne of the Almighty God. I stand on the authority of the word of God and I release the prayer of Jabez upon you that you shall be an inspiration to your family, that you shall be a blessing to your home, that when people mm. come around you, mm. they will tap into favor. Mm. May favor pursue and overtake mm. you. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the heavens above you be favorable. Mm. Wherever you tread, mm. may the good of that place be given mm. to you. Mm. In the name of Jesus, mm. may the destiny changer mm. transform your destiny today. Mm. Because you have cried a desperation prayer mm. even unto him. And so may heaven look down with favor upon you. Mm. I pray in the name of Jesus, any ground that you have lost, mm. may you recover. Amen. May you recover. Amen. May you recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. our God is a God of restoration. May you, may you be restored even unto your greatness. May God propel you into greatness. May the Jehovah connect you into the great on the land. I pray in the name of Jesus that wherever you went and you were rejected mm. this time around, mm. there is an auction upon your mm. land. Therefore, you will be accepted. Mm. May you be accepted. Mm. May you be accepted. May you be at the marketplace. Mm. May you be accepted mm. at your workplace. Mm. May you be accepted. Mm. Be accepted mm. in your health, mm. may you be promoted mm. in the name of Jesus. I declare upon your life, you shall no longer called be called supplanter, mm. but from today, your name shall be changed to Israel. Mm. From today, the favor of God will acquaint Himself upon you. I pray that you shall know no pain, but God will restore you. But God will favor you. But God will make you a blessing. So anyone who connects you shall be blessed. I pray this prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the people of God said, Amen. Come on, somebody. Appreciate Jesus. Hallelujah. Take a good offering for the morning. Take a good offering. Take your good offering, lift it quickly. This is an atmosphere you can come to church with coins. If you came with coins, bury it. This is a very serious atmosphere. You must bless God with your offering. Lift it up. Heavenly Father, accept this great time of offering. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's go. Onyameba ye iwa ya da ni awu ya mami deni nanti beji wa ye i Onyameba ye iwa ya da ni awu ya mami deni nanti beji wa Oh, yeah, you are, yeah, 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 y
Hallelujah. Give the Lord a good clap of praise. You can take your seat. This morning is just an introduction. When you go to the USA and you want the women assemblies of God, in Ghana we call them women ministry director, national director, original director for the whole, not all the 50 states. God is good. Amen. And we are blessed today. How many of you feel the oil of the woman? Hallelujah. We are car. We are car ketua. Hallelujah. On on Sunday, the car kesia himself will be on the land. Hallelujah. No, on Friday we have a guest, and I think that I told the guest to lead us for four hours prayer. But I'm submitting a prayer time, no so about two hours. And we need to push a little desperate for two hours before we hand over to the guest for another two hours. Amen. In Tiwa, why you are doing Friday woman? Amen and amen. But I just I I love this atmosphere. Hallelujah. And so hope to see you on Friday night. Hope to see you on Sunday night. And I tell you, sir, God takes people ahead to prepare a place for you ahead. Amen. So don't give up on yourself. Maybe you are the reason why God brought them. Or you are the reason why somebody bought a ticket for me to travel to U.S. years ago. You might be the reason. You don't know the full story yet. Don't miss it for anything. The bus will be available. Red says it won't work on Tuesdays and Sundays. So the bus will be available to bring people in and take them out. Don't miss out for any reason. Can I hear an amen? Whilst we're praying, we felt very strongly. Say, this, our pulpit is old. You, you felt it. I'm not talking about me. I said you you want to buy a new one see mommy and they will tell you which type we want we don't want the new one in your head we want the new one in our head amen so that you would buy it and put it somebody wants to buy a pop and i want you to do it amen i have two oils here i want to pray for two people it's on the left and the right of the bar the moment you have American oil here, let America people pray. Amen. <laughs> Is it only one? Uh, okay, can I get a second bottle of oil? All right, just two like that. Um, so, number one, Auntie Mercy, come. Mercy yourself. Get me another one in my car. Get my car. There's a lot of oil. The keys are the side of the bag. You want to pray for Auntie Mercy? Uh, the ever language is amelegido. When it's amelegidori, that means that I'm in pain, but I am forcing. Are you understanding? There is something eating her up. But we want to ask that God will answer. Amen. Yesterday, I wanted to come to your house. But a friend of mine, you know there's a food I like. 
to Kwonti and Grand also. He cooked it for me in Kumasi. And I put it in the freezer. And I brought it to Accra. And yesterday afternoon, I wanted to warm it. So I was in town. Before time now, if I get to Auntie Mercy, my Kwonti will go back. So I went to look at face it very well. Then I told myself, when I close church today, I'll come to you. But I didn't know you were in church. But all of us want to pray a desperate prayer for mama and say, whatever the challenge is, the God who hears what eats people up and heal them, may he heal mama from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Everybody stretch your hand towards her as I ask pastor and the wife to pray and we'll pray for her. This oil is for you. So after praying, they'll give it to you. Give me the microphone there. There's a microphone there. I want to hear a child of God praying. Pray, pray. I want to hear a child of God praying. Whatever is eating her up. Whatever is eating her up. Whatever is eating her up. Doctors can't explain. Doctors can't tell. But let God answer. Shada da 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 ya bada 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 bada. Rata da 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 Kadosh, 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 kadosh. I want you to listen. You are the Lamb of God who sits on the throne. The Bible says that Jabez was conceived in pain. All that her mother knew was pain. All that her, his mother knew was set back. The family of Jabez was in deep trouble. But when Jabez was born, he made a covenant with God. He said, Lord, the creator of heavens and the earth, so that when people come around me, I will not infect them with pain. Turn my life around and make me a blessing. So that instead of giving out pain, I will issue blessing. Today by this oil, we are anointing you. Hey. For divine intervention. Ay, 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 that whatever pain you are going ay, through. Ba, 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 we stand on the authority of the ba, word of God. Ba, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ba, 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 we rebuke it right now. Ba, ba, la, la. In the name of Jesus. Yes, May we join in prayer right now. In prayer. Ay, da, 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 we rebuke, rebuke it. Ba. We rebuke it. We rebuke it. Loose from pain. La ta 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 ba da. Ya ka ba 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 ba. Ya ka ba 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 ba. Ra ba ya ba ba ya ba. Ra ta la la ra ta la ba. Sha ta la da 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 da. Ya ta la la ba. Yes Lord. yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. In the name of Jesus. May the balm of Gilead run through your total body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Whatever the enemy has planted against your health we lose it right now. The Bible says God has given us the mandate and the keys. That whatever we lose shall be loosened. By that mandate and authority of the Holy Ghost. I set you loose from any pain. In the name of Jesus. I set you loose from any pain. In the name pain. of Jesus. I set you loose from any pain. In the name pain. of Jesus. The Bible says anything the oil touches become holy unto God. Mm. Therefore by this oil. The spirit of God will fall on you right now. Mm. May the power of the Most High mm. overshadow you Jesus. so that no pain yes, will be resisted. 
Father, I thank you. I pray that this woman here, she is also a daughter of Zion. Mm. Look down from heaven with favor. Take away her pain. Restore her joy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Help her up. It's for her. Amen. Somebody clap your hands well for Jesus. What's the second one? I want us to pray for my friend. They are two very good friends. Let me say Prabhu friends. We've prayed for Atta. We need to pray for Atta. <laughs> Rosina, come. Where is she? There are some things Rosina sent to me by text. I can't tell you. But we are telling God today by desperate cry. Whatever is eating her up. Let God answer. Ah. 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 Mount is one minute bomb pie mount. Rabba baba kaba. Rabba baba da 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 ba da. Pray for Sister Rosina. Whatever is eating her up, ra da 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 da. I want to hear somebody pray, ra da 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 ba ba. Hey, shata la ga ba ya ba ba. Ra ba 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 ba. Ra ba ka ba 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 ka ba ba ba. Ra ba ka ba 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 da ba ba ba. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Second Kings, we read something. In the fifth chapter, there was an army general who had developed leprosy. Very arrogant man. And one day, a slave girl in her house, in his house, told to her mistress, this man, your husband, Lord, were to be in Israel. I know somebody who knows someone who can restore him his health. And when he had been sent to Israel, he went to the palace. The king was so afraid. And the king tore his royal robe. But when the prophet of the land heard about it, he said, bring him to me. And I will prove to him that there is a God in Israel. Let me tell you right now. There is unction in this place. The oil of this house. Will break every yoke upon your life. Therefore by the power and the authority invested in us. We are going to pray for you. And with your pastor's anointing. The Holy Spirit that is present. This yoke also shall be broken and you shall be free. The Lord knows all about you. He knows your struggles. He knows the pain. We need not to know anything about you. He knows it. Therefore, as we stretch forth our hand towards you and as we touch your body, we pray that some virtue will flow from us and begin to dry up any poison in your body. You will be restored to wholeness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not by might. Not by power. But by the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Shall we all begin to pray for our sister right now. Touch her and pray. Release some anointing. Release deliverance. Release the virtue of the Holy Ghost. Into her life. Right now. 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 We break, destroy, we pull down, dismantle, we tread upon any impediment, any yoke that the enemy has placed upon your life. We destroy it now. We destroy it now. We destroy it now. Be loose from any shackle. 
Be loose from any shackle. Be loose from any shackle. Father, remember her. Father, remember her. Remember this woman. Remember this woman. We have nothing to offer her. All we are saying is that your name will be glorified. Therefore, Father, by the mandate and authority you have given us, we speak your word. The word of healing into our sister's body. We speak the word of transformation into our sister's life. We speak that any error in her life be corrected. Be corrected. Be corrected. Because the Bible says at the mention of the name of Jesus, anything that has name must bow. Anything that has name must bow. Anything that has name must bow. Therefore, whatever thing that is going on in your life, as we stand upon the word of God, we speak against it to bow in the name of Jesus. Be loose from your infirmity. Be loose from your pain. Be loose from your struggles. And be restored unto the grace of God. Whereby the name of the Lord will be projected and exalted. I decree and declare upon your life. That you are restored even to your former days. You are restored into greatness. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything the enemy has planted. Whether it is from your family background. Whether it's from the community, whether it's from the area, whatever the devil has planted against you, we curse it to die. We curse it to die. We curse it to die. In the name of Jesus, I speak life into your body. I speak life into your relationship. I speak life into your frustrations. Peace be still. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Help her together. Amen. God bless all of you. Can you clap for yourself? You've done extremely well. I'll leave you in the next moment to go. But one more time, Mama Fidelia Cranstel, we are grateful for such an oil. Amen. Somebody wants to appreciate it by clapping. Do it well. Last week, a woman preached. This week, a woman has preached. Maybe next week, it will be another woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we are grateful. There are few things uh, I think that the, um, the building committee must bring our attention to. I know there are a lot of you who want to help on our inauguration of this building, when we are inaugurating it, we are going to change the chairs. We are inaugurating, we are using new chairs, new speakers, and all the stuff. Some people are wondering, which one will I pay for? And so, uh, there is something they call insulator. Yes, I never heard. Insulator. It's supposed to be after the roofing. Is something to put there like cushion, cotton, something. So that when we're in the room and it's raining, you won't hear it. So it's called insulator. We need to put it. Then we'll do wiring. Then we'll put all our media cables up before we do the ceiling. Then we'll come to the design and then come down to the ground here and do a very nice carpet here to the back. Amen. If you have, some people say they've never gone to Kutoka International Airport before, but if you walk in International Airport, there are certain carpets that are on the ground that it doesn't collect the dust, but it helps sound. So we're going to put a full carpet in the whole room. And then some people have other desires they want to support us to buy tiles, buy tile cement. People have brought us estimates of all those things. 
don't come and do any other thing. You say the Holy Spirit is leading you. May he lead you through our leading. Amen. Amen and amen. All right. So these few things I've mentioned next week, they will tabulate them down properly and they will tell you what we need so that when you see what you must support with, you must support. The electrification alone is about 11,000. Eh? Is it 11,000 they brought? And then we said we must do the insulator first before we put the wiring. And so all of you should know that you have not finished, but the inauguration date has already reached the headquarters. So we are yet to just come do it. Whether we finish or not, it is coming on. Amen. And I think we've given even that. We didn't, first, we used to say the month. Now we have given the date. So it's happening life and colored. Amen. Thank you. Because I said of money, your clapping has gone down. It, just, it looks like only one part of my ears is hearing the clapping. But one thing I've come to realize is little drops of water make a mighty ocean. So there are people here who want to support, but but Michael, I don't have eleven thousand. Yes, you don't have eleven thousand, but you have three Ghana cities. I want to take the three cities. Are you understanding? And add your three cities to another person's fifty cities. Then it can go up. We will get to the eleven thousand by all means. Can I hear an amen? So right now I want to to pick up something to support the church project, some good money to support the church project. some five cities some hundred cities some 200 cities some something don't say it's carry a bonnet so many be i want the one in your pocket because there are some people here they want to do pastor michael show no i want the one you are having now with your family mrs here now kesia neba no so message ya home keep dropping it god bless you it's for the church project we will do it we will definitely dedicate the temple definitely dedicate the temple god bless you Penel city is grateful thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you we are grateful god bless you god bless you amen Last Sunday, when we closed the media, instrumentalists came. They said they want instruments, sticks. They said they want stick to play the drum. And I said, don't worry. Mama has bought a lot of sticks when we went to America to come. Amen. She was just buying things. When people give me money, she will seize it and go and buy things for media. I'm just watching her. You are controlling my money. One day, <laughs> when we finish the, <laughs> the building, you are looking for my money, I will change my bank account <laughs> number. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, I mean, there is so much investment we have invested into the media and uh, really want to tell the media people, you must handle the things very well. There are a lot of money. It's a lot of money tell you it's a lot of money handle them very well number two surprisingly all our media people are going to school <laughs> surprisingly we are losing it. jude left last week is going to school uh, matilda left matilda is going to school georgina is also leaving for school um, karen is already also gone and then I think it is God who made, um, what's the name? The one taking the picture today, was the name? Janet, have the results she had, else would have also missed her. It is God who made her have the results she had. It is just God. Are you understanding? It's, it's just, if, if she had had the one she wanted, she passed all right, but she wants to do medicine. And the grade she had cannot do medicine in college, whatever. Akralego. Uncle Kayet, yeah. Uncle Yensema is zero. Yamidu Nimyanzo. Yan 
answer. Pa, 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 pa. Then you have that the one figure can the figure no. And we still have people like Janet. Alex is gone to school. Then also, um, I mean, I think next week also, Julius is also going to the university. Amen. So, some way, somehow, our media, that's why I keep telling you, do something for God. Are you understanding? So now, we need to recruit people to do the media, like Pastor Jones. That will come to church and Pastor Jones will be on the camera. All right. So please and please, let's, um, people who want to do the media work, gradually, almost all of them are going. And so by the time, I think by next, by the end of the month, we are having all our media off. And we need new people. Those who want to come, come. Let's train you how to do it. And then you can destroy our things for us. Amen? Amen. I can do it. And so you'll just appear. No. Let's train you how to do it. And you can help us do it. Well, God bless you. So if you want to do it, see them at the back. They write your name. Then they will train you how to handle some of these things. Very important for us. Amen and amen. Remember Friday, we are praying for four hours. Then Sunday, Reverend um, and the wife, Reverend, are coming all the way one more time. They live very, very far. So those who are around, as far as Central Region, we pull them from Central Region to here. So you can't be around and say, my Sunday evening, they will be here. Church service starts at 5.30, and it will be a blessing to have them around. Can I get out? Amen. All right, if I finish everything, can we rise on our feet as we close for this morning? I saw a friend coming with a baby. Who, who is a person? Okay, introduce yourself. Who is a newcomer here? It's only you who came with the baby. So, your name and who brought you? The way your mother is laughing. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. My name is. Yvonne. Yeah, so I'm here to support Pastor Crane. Okay, Pastor Crane. Still, okay, wow. Oh, we met in Greensboro. That is Kafui's sister. Hey, what a well. The whole of Ghana, Google. Google, the one you have been using. Google and Facebook and the whole of Ghana. That is the boss. <laughs> you are seeing a small person. You don't know. Clap your hands well. You are. Be anu akone tu amu wenye juma ona bonse biye. Wenye juma. Hallelujah. I now remember. I now remember. I now remember. Strangely, this world there. Oh, you can't understand God. But you are welcome. Yeah, welcome. Reverend, please, please share something. Oh, share something to say. Reverend, yes, please. Yes, I work at Google, but I am not the overall You are not the overall boss. Raw boss. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay, then tell me what you are. Maybe I've raised your post so that I'll reduce it a little. But she's a big woman. Yes. All right. I work on projects. You work on projects, okay. So I'm a business partner. You're a business partner. Administrative business partner. Administrative business partner. We'll give, before you leave, we'll give you some CVs. Don't worry. <laughs> That's your mom. I mean, it's too clear. Wow. Was she also in the U.S. when I came? She was also in the U.S. Okay. Mama Lisbeth. Grandma. Good to see you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for them one more time. We have 365 days in a year, 12 months. We have three quarters. Out of the three quarters, how many of the three quarters do you stay in Ghana? This woman is a big woman. <laughs> but she's very, very connected. 
when we pr when we close, take her baby and play with her. Maybe she will give you her card. All right, lift up your hands. Thank you so much. My regards to your sister. Thank Sister Kafui, one of the uh, very committed people in Praise International Chapel, Praise Chapel International at uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. We are blessed for today. Amen. Can you lift up your hands? Say he anoints my hair with oil. My cup runs over. Let's continue. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Shake somebody. If it's a woman, say, my queen, live forever. If it's a man, say, my king, live forever.